Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil and this is our ninth video on the React with Progressive Web App. So in the previous video, we learned that how we can check the internet connection as well as if we are on the offline mode, then we will get the data from service worker. Otherwise, data will come from the server. But in the previous video, we have an issue that API data is still not working in offline mode, right? So if you did not notice that, I will just show you that here you can see that uh, this is a home page. This is the user page and data is coming from the server, right? That's great. But let's say now we are in the offline mode and we are just moving around the site. And when we just come back here, the data is not actually working, right? So how we can just resolve this problem? So this is the video about that, how we can just get the data or how we can just use the API data in the offline mode also. So for that, we will do some things. First of all, we will use the fetch clone event. What is actually do? It will do the two things. One, if our page is uh, not cached, then it will fetch the data from the specifically this page from the server. Second thing, uh, when we are just using the service worker, our code actually not rendered again and again, right? So it will just render the code again if we are in the offline mode, right? Then the second thing we have to just set our uh, local, set the API data in the local storage and we will check if we are in the offline mode, then we will just use this local storage, right? And after that, we will also show that to user that you are in the offline mode or you are in the online mode, right? So in the previous video, you can see that we are in the offline mode, but user cannot get this because uh, if he's not going to check the internet connection, then he may not know that he's the offline mode or in the, he's on online mode, right? So we will do th this thing also. So first of all, uh, let's uh, use the mm, clone event. So let's go inside the public folder, then sw.js file and uh, as you see that in the previous video, the all cast data is uh, uh, behave according to the uh, internet mode. If you are the online, then data coming from the server. Otherwise, data will come from the uh, service worker, right? So let's say if some data is not cached or uh, if uh, data is cached, but we want to re-render the code again, right? So that how we can do it for that just you need to take a let and just take here request URL or any variable that you want just write event dot this event is actually coming from here event dot request dot clone great and we will use the fetch function and just write here request URL right and it will just uh, re-render the code if uh, this is present in the service worker. Otherwise, it will try to get from the server, right? So that's okay. Now we have to go inside the SRC folder. Just jump on the users.js file. And uh, first of all, we have to set, we have to check that we are offline mode or we are in the online mode, right? So for that, let's check the error case or catch catch block in the fetch function. So just write here fetch catch and just pass a parameter ERR or error and just write here alert so that we can just see it very clear. Right? Alert uh, in catch block, right? How we will get in the catch block? So there is a, uh, lots of reason if uh, we are in the offline mode, then we will get in the off, uh, the catch block if our this url is wrong then we will just uh, come again in the catch block if some error is happen on the server end then still we will come on this catch block right so by the way everything is fine but uh, for a moment there's only one case can be happen which is internet is not available right so um just come here and uh, deregister this thing and uh, open this URL, uh, unregister again. And now you can see that whenever we are coming here, the data is fetching fine. So let's say we just put it in the offline mode and we are just coming around the site. Then you can see that we are in the catch block. 
so we can do our work here which is the local stories and all and check the offline and online condition right but first of all let's uh, set the local stories right so let's i'm just going to show you one more thing when you are uh, just go on the local storage there you can see that there is a nothing or no data is avail available for our site which is local storage 300 and uh, now let's choose here local storage dot set item have the two parameters one is the key for uh, in this key uh, uh, corresponding this key we will just save the data so let's see users and uh, then you can just simply write here uh, result right but will it work no because uh, we cannot store json data directly so we have to just convert it inside the json dot stringify right and let's put it now let's come back here and as you know we are working in the offline mode so we have to just uh, clear out the things so just uh, unregistered it again if you just want to double cross check and uh, now make it now make it in the offline mode or uh, if let's just go on the users page and data is perfectly working now let's come to the local stories and you can see that the old data which is available on our site is also stored in the local stories right so now let's make it uh, offline now uh, go to the service worker make it offline just go to the home come back again then you will see that we are in the catch block and the, there is no data is available here but when we are checking the uh, local storage we have the data in the local storage right so we can use this data for that moment right so in the catch block just simply write here uh, let collection and uh, get the data from local storage local storage dot get item and in the get item we will use only one parameter which is users right it should be the similar with the set item key right and now uh, just write here set data set data you know that this is our state this is uh, just storing the data from for the users from the fetching api as well as now in the offline mode just write here collection so will it work no because now the local storage data is in the uh, string mode right so just put here json dot string uh, json dot parse so that we can just convert this string data to the um, uh, json moment right so now you will just come again here and just make it unregister check it again let's uh, unregister again so that we can just double cross check it right now let's come on the home let's go to the user now you can see that data is perfectly fine and data is also stored in the local stories so just come to the service worker again make it offline and uh, let's go to the home come back here now you can see that data is still available here right so let's try to refresh it data is still available here right so this data is actually coming from the local storage as you know but how user would know that this data is coming from the local storage or we are connected with the internet or not and where from it's actually working so for that we must have to show some warning and all right so let's take one more state here const and just take here mode state just put here set mode and all and by default i am just putting it uh, online mode right that's great so now we have to check here let's take a div here and we will check that uh, if mode equal equal to offline but we did not put the mode offline here so how we can check that uh, the mode is offline so we can check in the catch block so just simply put here set mode offline 
that's great and if this is the offline mode then we can just show a div here and here we can check uh, some write something like uh, you are in offline mode right okay so and uh, if uh, this is online then it will show the null case right so uh, now let's come back here and just unregister it again uh, let's put it on the offline online mode and register it again yeah so now let's uh, see that now you can see that that data is coming i am just putting it offline and you are just uh, surfing your website and now you can see that you are in the offline mode let's refresh it then it will still that show that you are in the offline mode but this is not uh, looking like cool right so that we can use some bootstrap also as you know in the some three or four uh, video ago I, uh, I just told you that uh, how we can install the bootstrap so just go in the bootstrap and just choose a bootstrap alert and uh, we can just use here this warning like just use this one and uh, let's put it here we are in the offline mode so just write here you are in offline mode right but uh, maybe there is a problem that uh, you are maybe in online mode but there is some problem in the connection like server is not working and this url is not working fine that how you can write uh, the proper definition for the warnings you can just write here or some issue with connection right that's great and just format it again And now let's uh, go to the home, make it offline, deregister this previous stuff. And now you can see that we are able to watch the code and this is working fine. And now let's make it uh, offline mode and let's reload it. Uh oh, that's my bad. Uh, I think cache was not clear perfectly, right? so just go to the home and just deregister it once again right so this is working fine right home and everything so let's make it offline mode let's come back again here you can see the warning just reload it um let me check what's what actually happened with it so just make it a hard refresh here just go to the online mode we we just need to double check it sometime uh, unregistered not working when we are just in the development board mode because we are just changing the things rapidly right so let's commit on the home right and uh, again just refresh it and now let's make it put in the offline mode let's go to the user then you can see that we are in the offline mode perfectly now try to refresh it now it's working fine right so that's all that uh, here you just learned that how we can put uh, our uh, API data with the offline mode as well as we can check connection and all. So if you still have any kind of confusion, you can ask me in the comment box. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video. Bye bye. Take care.